had that feeling when you just know that when you now run, you're screwed. Fun time with this Inotra. What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. Back again with the beloved series, Mysterious Incidences Story Time. We are already at number eight. Today, a very thrilling and exciting story, I would say. So as usual, get your popcorn ready, whatever you need to get comfortable, get your drinks ready. And also stay tuned because after the story, I'm going to announce the winner of the giveaway if you haven't seen it on Instagram already. Okay guys, let's get into it. One of my most exciting stories to tell. So this story happened at the beginning of the year or I would say in the first half of the year of 2017. At that time I was living in K-Town, Koreatown, Los Angeles. And it was one of those days where I really, really was not feeling so well. I was very angry at the world and you know sometimes when you have this like desperation with the world and, and disappointment and everything and so on right so it wasn't a good day for me at that moment right so and who knows me also knows the next thing that probably happens when i feel this way is that i am going to go out right so i wanted to socialize and i think i actually had a meeting and i got all dressed up and everything and left the house and it was a weekend i believe because it was really really busy in the streets but anyway it was nighttime so i walked out and uh, like i said i was already like in this bad mood so i don't know if you can relate i was just thinking i hope nobody talks to me right now right but just as i left the house i walked down the street and there's a traffic light right there i crossed the traffic light and you must know these streets are not really uh, wide I would say maybe between 60 and 80 feet wide. It's really, really tiny streets. And me, as usual, I'm wearing headphones, really loud music. And I'm walking on the left side, okay? And as I'm walking down, all of a sudden, I see a girl ahead of me. Not really far. I'm like basically approaching her. And she looks like, to me at least it looked like, she was yelling on the phone at somebody. But for some weird reason, my girl alarms went off. So I looked and I, I had this feeling like, oh, do I have to help her? Is everything okay? Because it basically looked like that. As I said, the music was really loud. So like I said, my girl alarms went like, whoops, beep, 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 do I have to help her or anything like that? So I take my headphones out to hear, but at the same time, she recognizes me. She sees me and she stops yelling and approaches me. And we give each other that girl look. I'm like, are you okay, basically? And she all of a sudden yells over to this side of the street, right? So at that moment, I realized, oh, hold on. She's actually yelling over to the other side of the street. And as I look over, I see a bunch of guys, okay? So there's parked cars on that side, parked cars on our side. So I basically just see that much of a bunch of guys, like five or six guys, pretty tall, hollering at her, right? And as I said, at that moment, I noticed what was going on and she was like <laughs> something, you know, like leave me alone, go F you, blah, 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 blah. And I must say, this is something I must admit, guys. All of this hollering at girls and stuff in that aggressive type of way, I really can't stand that at all. So all of my anger is really like rising up already anyways with me being in this disappointed mood and thinking the whole time like oh don't even talk to me don't even talk to me and my anger rises okay now i must say okay a very interesting observation that i made on these type of days on days where i don't feel that well and i'm let's call it hating on the world incidences like that tend to happen more likely than on other days i mean if you're into quantum physics and everything and if you understand or believe as i believe due to the facts that I gathered in my life that you create your reality with what you believe, expect or simply by just observing the world through your eyes that are specifically conditioned. So to me it's not that surprising but it's still interesting to observe that I must say. Anyway, back to the story. The girl looks at me, we look at each other, she yells at the guys, she comes walking towards me, passes me, and we give each other that look as I'm putting my headphones back into my ears because I obviously, she's safe and I'm just thinking I do not want to hear anything right now, right? Because I'm about, I'm about to snap. <laughs> and I don't want to snap because like I just said earlier, I know that it's not going to go well when you snap on these type of days when you're already being kind of like daring to the universe because I obviously knew they're gonna holler at me now because I mean you're presented like on a catwalk 
passing these guys, right? That's how they sit, like as if you're on a New York Fashion Week presenting your clothes. <laughs> so I turn my music all the way up really, really loud. I'm trying to not hear everything and pass. And I hear, under my music, I hear this. <laughs> and I'm thinking, did one of these guys really just call, hey, just keep going, it doesn't matter. And I hear a little bit louder through the music that is all the way up, okay? <gasps> and I'm thinking, oh my God, don't. My eyes already twitching, I'm like, don't, don't react. And then I heard it for the third time. Really, really loud, okay? And very aggressive. <gasps> I know guys, some of you might say, you should have just walked, you should have just walked, which I now think too, but I, with my brave self, turn around, take my headphones out and go like this. Really? I saw him walking up towards me and I'm just thinking, don't back off right now because now I'm already angry. I'm gonna give him the speech of his life is what I'm thinking right now. I'm thinking I'm that much of a hero that I could like brainwash this guy, give him a super crazy speech about how humans actually work and that we women are also human. And I think that I might wake him up. I'm all brave, right? But what I didn't see beforehand when I saw the top of all of these five or six guys standing there was what revealed itself once the guy that was yelling walked up towards me, okay? I see this guy is having a baseball bat in his hand and walking straight up to me, okay? And the following guys, I don't know how to explain what happened, okay? I don't know how to explain what happened then. Because not only is it very mysterious, but the first part now. Have you ever had that feeling when you just know? When you just know that when you now run, you're screwed. You know what I'm saying? I just knew. Like with the bullies at school or anything. I just knew if I run now, I'm screwed because he's gonna run after me. And he's definitely faster than me. So, I don't know why I did that, guys, but <laughs> I just walked up towards him. After I had like the craziest sweating attack that came over me within like a millisecond, it was a I just sweat. When I, saw, when I saw this baseball bat in his hand, I just started sweating. Right after, I had this big old sweat drips going down my shirt. Anyway, I keep going towards him. I don't know why I did that. But then, the most unbelievable thing happened. And this is why I'm telling the story. And this is why this belongs to the most mysterious incidents and story times that I had. So the guy walks up to me with his baseball bat, right? As a million thoughts run through my mind. Don't run, run, oh my God, you screwed. All of my Wing Chun karate techniques came up in my mind. What to do, what to do, everything in a millisecond. And as the guy is like about, that far away like the camera is right now or maybe a little further like that far away let's say you are me you are my point of view and i'm the guy with the baseball bat and this happened yo oh oh sorry i didn't know i didn't know it's like that i didn't know you weren't alone and he walks backwards away and i in my mind i feel so relieved because all of my calculations right with my common sense tell me that this scenario that happened before I arrived was so loud that the neighbors must have heard it, cops must have been called already, whatnot, because when I saw the baseball bat, that must have been like crazy already. This guy was obviously very loud, so what he saw right here, right, was obviously a guy, because I mean, he looked up there, it must have been, first of all, a tall guy, and secondly, it, I thought it must be like a neighbor or something like this. I was convinced I don't even know why I thought it's a neighbor from up there. So for some reason, I was just convinced. You know how it is how like a million thoughts just pass in one second in these moments? I was convinced, right? There must be a man, probably a neighbor, right beside me, right? So I say exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> All cool, right? I don't know what that even means at that moment. But I said exactly. And I turned over looking at my hero that came to save me like this. In a circle, I know. In a circle, because guess what? There was nobody there. I mean, nobody. Nobody. Now, I must say, this story wouldn't be so crazy if it hadn't happened a second time, actually. It's funny because it happened about at the same time of the year the next year, in 2018. 
with a homeless guy, but that's not so important right now because it basically went down the same way. The homeless guy approached me and he looked at the same direction and he did the same exact thing. He said, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, and he backed off. So that's basically this, the same story again, which is weird, right? I must say, but anyway, who knows what that means? But at that moment, I was totally confused, right? I didn't even know. I was like, what, what, huh, huh? And I just used the situation that he backed off and I was like, oh, thank God, oh my God. And I walked away and I immediately called the cops. I hope that the girl did the same thing because also as I walked away, the cops passed me. And I even said to the person on the phone, I said, the cops are passing me. Should I say something? But the person, I don't know if you ever called 911. They're not, they're not, they're not friendly. She, she, she did not have no patience with me at all. She was like, no, where are you? I said, I, I, I already said where I am. How did the person look? I had honestly not even like an idea. I just remembered a white t-shirt and a huge guy with black hair and a baseball bat. That's all that's to that. But anyway, that's already it. I mean, you tell me what to make of this. I don't know. I obviously think that in both cases, somebody saw somebody right here, always at the same spot. And this person that is right beside me must be that tall. I wish it's my guardian angel. I have no idea. But you know how it is. If you follow my mysterious incidents in story time, I wouldn't be surprised if something crazy like that is going on. I hope I find out about that. If anybody knows, again, let me know in the comments below. Oh. <laughs> the winner of the giveaway, as I said, if you haven't seen it on Instagram already, is the wonderful, here on YouTube at least, one minute music lessons. I will link everything below. And on Instagram, Instagram, okay. Instagram at Beats by Day One. You should really check him out, guys. He's so awesome. He inspires me so much. I learned so much from his one minute piano music tutorials. You should really check him out, guys. He chose this one. Speaking of, you should also check the links. There's a lot of amazing things to discover. And as usual, much love to everyone. Stay focused and blessed now. What about if we do a pretend attack and then see if somebody shows up right here? Hey, buddy, what's up?